Hi, we're AM and Nikki from Build with AM Nikki on twitch.tv slash AWS. And we're here to tell you more about the AWS toolkit for VS Code. We're going to tell you about how to deploy a SAM application directly to your AWS account and then invoke it in the cloud as well. That's right. And if you missed any of the previous videos about how to install the AWS toolkit for VS Code or how to create a SAM application, they should be uh, somewhere somewhere in our getting started. So you can go ahead and view them there. Great. So uh, let's let's take a look at your machine. Let's dive right in. So I'm in VS Code, and I have a SAM application that we created. Obviously, it's called Petunia. Of course. And um, all we're going to do to deploy it is where we need to go to the command palette and type one of the commands that the toolkit gives us. And you can get to the command palette by typing Command Shift P on a Mac or Control Shift P on a Windows. So AWS. We're going to hit deploy SAM application. Great. It's going to walk us through. It's going to walk us through. It's saying, which template would you like to deploy? We want to deploy the one in this uh, in this folder, petunia template.yaml. Okay. So we're going to say yes. And then it's going to ask us what region we'd like to deploy to. And we would like to deploy to US West 2, because that's closest to where we are right now. Right. We're in Seattle. Yep. And then we have to give it an S3 bucket. OK. So what if, what if I don't have an S3 bucket? Let's go ahead and create one in the CLI. Sounds good. So to create one using the CLI, you can type AWS S3 make bucket MB, and then the URI of the bucket name. And the bucket name has to be globally unique. It's hard. Best way to do that is to use AM's name. Ah. You think that would be unique? Yeah, let's try it. There you go. You got it. All right, so we're just gonna copy this bucket name and go back to VS Code and paste it in. And so your profile in the CLI actually is already set up to be defaulting to uh, US West 2. That's right. But you have to create the bucket that you deploy to in the same region that you just selected. That's absolutely right. My right. profile defaults to US West 2. Cool. But now we have to name the actual CloudFormation stack that's gonna get created. Absolutely. Um, so why don't we name it the same thing? Perfect. So now it's actually deploying yep. to our AWS account through CloudFormation with our SAM template, right? And why did we need an S3 bucket? So behind the scenes, right, the SAM tooling and by way of the VS Code extension is packaging up our project, right? It's, it's, it's building it, it's zipping it, and then it's going to upload it to that S3 bucket because that's what Lambda needs to reference your code to then deploy your function. That's absolutely right. And uh, it takes a few minutes to, for CloudFormation to actually create and provision all these resources that it needs in the cloud, um, because we definitely had more than one thing in our SAM template. Right. But what's neat is that we're going to be able to view that stack later in the AWS Explorer. Yeah. So we're going to go to this little AWS icon up, over to the left. And right now I'm viewing US West 2 in Oregon, and I can see all the lambdas that I have in that region, as well as all the CloudFormation stacks. So when this actually finishes, it's going to show up. Right. And what's neat here, too, is that maybe you don't have all of your resources in US West, too. You can actually go ahead and add a new uh, region to your AWS Explorer. That's right. You can look at multiple regions in the Explorer at once. Um, it's another command in the command palette. That's right. But guess what? While you were talking, it's successfully deployed. Maybe that's why I was talking. <laughs> it's buying us some time. So if we want to actually invoke this, um, to run in the cloud, we can invoke it remotely. We can just do so by right clicking and then saying invoke on AWS. And there's a bunch of sample payloads that the toolkit will give us. And we know that the one that we need is the API gateway AWS proxy. That's right. So it drops the whole object in there and I can change this JSON if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna leave it. And all you have to do is scroll down and click invoke. And there it is, successful response. There you go. And that's actually executing in the cloud. That's not that's local. Right. That is actually executing in the cloud. We just remotely triggered it. Cool. Can you show me quickly how to delete this SAM application using CloudFormation? Yeah. So now you want to delete it. Sure. So you can just go to the CloudFormation stack and you can right click, delete. Oh, wow. That's, that's it. Very simple. Okay. It's also got to guard up to make sure that I didn't do that like by accident. OK, good. All right. So CloudFormation takes a second, but once it deletes all the resources, this Lambda would also go away.
That's pretty easy. That's a great way to actually deploy it directly without ever having to log into the console right from your tools. Or know any of the SAM CLI commands to, do, to deploy. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks, guys. Tune in next time.